Saving Aziz, How the Mission to Help One Became a Calling to Rescue Thousands from the Taliban by Chad Robichaud is a harrowing and inspiring account of a grassroots effort to evacuate vulnerable individuals from Afghanistan following the country's fall to the Taliban in August 2021. The narrative focuses on the efforts led by Robichaud and his team to carry out daring rescues under treacherous conditions. The story begins with Chad Robichaud, a former Force Recon Marine and Department of Defense contractor, who is compelled to take action when he learns about the dire situation unfolding in Afghanistan. With the rapid withdrawal of U.S. and NATO forces, the Afghan government collapses and the Taliban swiftly take control of Kabul, causing chaos and fear among the citizens and particularly those who had worked with or supported the Western forces. Robichaud learns about Aziz, an Afghan who had worked as an interpreter for the U.S. military, and finds himself and his family at imminent risk of retribution by the Taliban. Aziz and his close ones are in grave danger, being labeled as traitors because of their cooperation with foreign forces. Understanding that Aziz's situation is dire and that time is of the essence, Robichaud leverages his skills, contacts, and experience to coordinate an evacuation mission. Despite not being officially affiliated with any government operation, Robichaud rallies a team of skilled volunteers, many of whom are former military and special operations personnel. Together, they form an ad hoc group which comes to be known as the Task Force Pineapple, referencing a code used during the planning of their operations. They set out to save Aziz, navigating the treacherous environment where chaos reigns, and coordination with any centralized authority is virtually non-existent. Robichaud and his team utilize their expertise in planning and executing complex missions alongside innovative communication techniques, including encrypted messaging apps. They establish a secret network of rescue teams and safe houses, collaborating with sympathetic Afghan citizens who are willing to risk their lives to help those in need. The book details the nerve-wracking series of events as the team attempts to guide Aziz and others through Taliban checkpoints and into the relative safety of the Kabul airport. The airport itself is a dangerous, bottlenecked hub, brimming with thousands of people desperate to leave the country. The team's resourcefulness is put to the test as they maneuver around bureaucratic barriers and negotiate with both the Taliban and the U.S. military to secure passage for those they are trying to rescue. As momentum builds, word of Task Force Pineapple's efforts spreads, and the mission to save Aziz soon expands to include a larger list of at-risk individuals. These include not only interpreters and their families, but also female judges, journalists, human rights activists, and other vulnerable groups who are especially threatened under the Taliban's oppressive regime. Robichaud captures the emotional weight of the operation, describing the terror experienced by those trying to escape, the moral dilemmas faced by the volunteer rescuers, and the personal sacrifices made by everyone involved. Courage, camaraderie, and a shared sense of duty drive the team as they work tirelessly to navigate the complex web of legal, logistical, and human challenges. Throughout the account, Robichaud reflects on his own military experience and the personal sense of responsibility he feels for those who served alongside U.S. forces. His descriptions of the conditions in Afghanistan also provide a vivid and visceral portrayal of the human cost of war and conflict. The operation is fraught with close calls, moments of despair, and unexpected setbacks. At times, the plan seems on the brink of collapse, but the team demonstrates relentless perseverance. They continuously adapt to the evolving situation, improvising and overcoming obstacles to maintain their covert lifeline to those in need. Saving Aziz is not just a story of a singular rescue, but a chronicle of a larger endeavor that unfolded under extraordinary circumstances. The narrative sheds light on the broader implications of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, the subsequent humanitarian crisis, and the role of unofficial networks in providing aid when formal systems are overwhelmed or absent. Robichaud underscores the complex emotional landscape of the mission capturing the range of feelings from hope to helplessness and the moral imperative felt by the rescuers. He describes the bittersweet reality of their operations. For every person they are able to save, there are many more they cannot reach. In the end, the account of saving Aziz 
serves both as a testament to the potential for human solidarity in times of crisis and a call to action. It is a story of how a focused mission to rescue one individual can ignite a powerful movement to save many. The book ends with Robichaud and his team continuing their work even after the immediate crisis, ensuring that those they've rescued find safety and advocating for those still in danger. Ultimately, saving Aziz is a tribute to the unyielding spirit of those who put their lives at risk to help others in dire circumstances. It's a compelling narrative of bravery, improvisation, and the determination to uphold human dignity against overwhelming odds. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.